Huh. Hi, Miss Covered in Paint here, and this is our video that we took going to the old LA Zoo. Now, the zoo is no longer open or functioning, but it is quite well maintained. And at first, when I heard about this zoo from well, local LA people, uh, I thought it was abandoned, and that would be you know like overgrown and hidden in the forest. You'd have to like climb through it, but no, it's just in Griffith Park, and it's really easy to access. There's a road that leads right up to it, and you can just park and walk up a nice paved path. And as you can see, the grass has been cut, and it's pretty clean of trash. Um, there is some trash inside the exhibits where people have like climbed over the fences and done things <laughs> but other than that it's a pretty clean place and then it's really nice to like walk around and explore it's really fascinating to think about um, you know back then uh, animal care and zoos and stuff so uh, you definitely see a different uh, quality and improvement in the zoo space compared to this one to what we have now it's quite fascinating actually I really enjoyed it um, while we were there there were quite a few people and we decided to like, Sarah and I, uh, we decided to do some sketching and so here we've got some of the footage of me sketching and there was this couple that were also filming uh, in one of the caves and it was really funny because it was like fight choreography and you could tell they were just like mock fighting, they weren't actually like hitting each other, making contact, but they always did the same like uh, technique which was where she'd throw a punch and he would come in under and like punch her rib cage. And it just was funny that they kept doing it over and over again, and it was just so exaggerated and silly that I just had to draw it. So here I am drawing this couple fighting, and um, I really wanted to use this uh, technique where I use a color marker to do the underdrawing, and then when I have the gesture drawn, I'll ink it and fill it in with the colors so that you don't see the underdrawing anymore. I think it's kind of fun because it gives, I feel like, my work a more polish, and you don't get the underdrawing distracting from your final line work, but it does get away with the gesture. Like, you don't see that underdrawing anymore, so there's that, like, minus side. What do you guys think? Because I, I like it, and I've seen other artists do similar stuff, and I think it's really cool, but some people really do prefer seeing the underdrawing, and I don't know. What do you think? Do you like seeing the underdrawing sketch as it is, or do you like having it filled in and just kind of disappear? Anyway, and I also think that it's cool to add, like, the color to the piece gives it more vibrancy like sometimes when I get highlighters I can do like three or four different colors and then my page just looks more colorful as opposed to the usual just black and white sketches or just red or blue um, line work underneath. So tell me what you guys think about that and also let me know what you think about this video and having uh, me adventure out there and record it. Uh, we're still trying to figure out the best way you know to display cinematography and I'm looking forward to growing in my filmmaking so, um, yeah, let me know if you have any places or suggestions I should visit within the LA area. And, yeah, I'm hoping to do this kind of, like, visiting places and drawing um, and just having some dialogue over it. Or um, doing some, like, cafe sketch dates and stuff like that. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys next week. Enjoy. Have a nice day.